Hello everyone, my name is Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how to create natural looking skin texture from the scratch. So whether you work on the image, whether you need to fix the image that doesn't have the skin texture or you work on the image where you need to create the skin texture just on some areas of the skin, this is the tutorial for you. Uh, before we start, I'm offering my free Portrait Retouching Essentials course on my website retouchingninja.com. It's 100% uh, free. It always will be free. Uh, visit and join to the course to learn really important retouching techniques. And now uh, let's go back to our tutorial. So to start, I'm going to remove this group uh, to start from the very beginning and show you how to create the skin texture. So uh, in the first step, uh, we need to create the gray layer. To do this, I'm going to create an empty layer by clicking this icon. Then I'm going to rename this into texture. Once it's done, I'm going to edit, fill, and as the contents, make sure it's 50% gray. When you choose 50% gray, hit OK. And now uh, we can process with the gray layer, but we can also change the blending mode to soft light or overlay that will allow us to make this gray layer invisible. And only when we apply some other effect, we will be able to see it. So once it's done, I'm going to convert this to smart object because I want to work non-destructively and I want to have control on what I'm doing. And the first step is to add noise. We can add noise through filter noise and add noise, but I prefer to add this through camera or filter. It's just much better and much nicer looking uh, for the effect we need. So I'm going to go to FX. That's where we can add grain to the image. And we need to choose the grain that um, is uh, relatively big, I would say, um, but of course uh, not too big. If you work with the small image, uh, the amount of the noise will be low. So it depends on the size of the image. Uh, my image is quite big, so I'm going with um, grain 70, uh, size of the grain, amount of the grain 70, uh, quite big size and uh, roughness as well hope it's not too big, but we're gonna see. So this is the noise and it doesn't look like the texture just yet. So we need to convert this into the texture. And the tool that allow us to convert the grain into something texture-like looking is emboss. So go to stylize and emboss. And thanks to this, as you can see, um, the differences be the, between the color in the noise allow to create these differences that will look like the texture. And of course, when it comes to the angle, you need to see which angle works the best for the, the skin. So you need to go with uh, pretty much with the light as it goes here. Then, of course, the height. So the further you go, the more we could say weird it will look not weird but of course the more split it will look so i usually keep height two uh four uh, no more than this uh, we can go with three now and amount of the effect so the less we go and uh, the less it's visible the more we add it's more visible i will add a decent amount of this uh, because i just want this in this tutorial i want the effect to be uh, well visible, but I'm gonna change the height for this. So the effect maybe will be uh, more natural. Hit OK. And if you think the texture, for example, is not strong enough, you can always go back to camera or filter because we work uh, with the smart object and you can increase the size and can increase the amount of the grain. So once you increase, as you can see, uh, the effect is also uh, becoming stronger. So this is uh, really important to know. If uh, you think this is too rough, there is other thing we can do to improve this effect and it's going to filter and applying some Gaussian blur. So I'm going to blur and then Gaussian blur. 
and not too much really just softly I'm going to add no more than one pixel that's really important uh, to make this realistic and then I'm going to hit OK so once all of this is created and we are sure the the texture we have created uh, looks really nice then we can create the mask just one mask of course hitting this icon allow us to create the mask and when the mask is white it means that everything what's on this layer is visible so these effects we applied are visible but when we change the color of the mask into black we can easily do it by inverting this so when the white mask is selected press command or control and i together and then we're gonna invert this so if the color black we choose the brush we choose the white color of the brush and we paint in the areas we can increase or decrease the flow it's really up to us we can paint in the areas to bring back the texture where we want it so here it's strong light so i want to make sure that here the texture is visible and here on the sides maybe a little bit less on the nose i'm not pressing as strong because on the nose of course the texture shouldn't be as visible but here a little stronger as well so i wouldn't advise creating really too strong of the effect because it will not look natural so we won't be able to create something really 100 percent looking like the skin texture that meant to be there but we can try our best to try to create the skin texture that looks like something that could be there so here it's a little too strong i want to make it soften so i will manipulate a little bit with the flow soften here just like this now i'm satisfied and of course when it comes to the rest of the body over here i want to add this texture as well because it's missing some of this a little bit on the neck and that's it so looking now this is before and this is after of course if it's too strong we can always also manipulate with the opacity we can manipulate with the brush so there's really uh, many ways we can improve the effect that we have created uh, for now just few more things to do a little bit over here and over here and that should do the thing so uh, thank you for watching uh, remember to check out the free course I'm offering on retouchingninja.com and I'm going to see you in the next Photoshop tutorial here on YouTube uh, thank you for watching and see you next time